This is a 1992 Sea Ray 300 Weekender. Sea Ray 300 Weekender. That nice wide beam that the uh, early 90s and prior Sea Rays had. So, nice wide platform to uh, plenty of room there to do whatever you want to do, even, uh, even do some fishing on there if you like. Got shore power hooked up, got the AC running, should be cooling down on board, although I've got the Companionway hatch open, but uh, AC works as does uh, pretty much everything else according to the seller. Got a new Bimini. That was the only casualty of uh, Irma this time last year was the uh, old Bimini got ripped up, so he's got a New Bimini he put on there. Seller's got uh, all the maintenance records uh, from that he's done three years and uh, the years prior. So uh, she's been maintained. And I'm going to go on board. Uh, you can see they've got these uh, custom covers, which are kind of nice. You don't see a lot. Uh, I took the seat covers off so you can see the seat covers. I didn't take all the covers off for the... Uh, uh, for the rub rails, but uh, you can see what kind of shape this keeps these rub rails in real nice. They're real nice and supple. Uh, and uh, there is a no, I didn't take them all off, but there's no rips, tears, or gouges in those or holes, according to the seller. And you can see it's just kind of nice to have those covers all around and it keeps the seats in uh, ship shape there. Keeps them out of this. Uh, Florida hot sun exposure. Uh, they are the original seats from 92, so they could uh, probably stand a decent uh, scrubbing, cleaning, what have you. But uh, they're decent shape, as you can see. Nice white deck, nice white platform here. Got a, a boarding ladder there. There is a walkthrough transom here. And that leads to the, got a narrow, not a real wide platform back in those days, but you do have a, you do have a swim platform back here. You can easily walk on to access a uh, sandbar. That's a swim ladder, extendable to the sandbar, whatever you wanna do back there. Uh, you got no, uh, no stern drives to conk your knees on when you're coming up. This is a, a V drive setup. The engines are right back here. I took the photos of the engines. There's your engine covers. Uh, this is your, uh, that's the engine room and the battery room and then the AC units under here. Here's your helm. And uh, you got uh, Garmin uh, GPS, chart plotter, depth sounder. And you got a VHF radio, throttle controls. You got all uh, temp gauge, oil, fuel gauges for both engines. Uh, there is about, Hundred. There's a uh, low rant depth sounder there. Uh, compass. So everything's working according to the seller. There's all your accessory switches. Fire extinguisher. It's one in uh, external here. There's. Uh, I think there's one in the engine room. There is uh, one inside as well. This converts to a, uh, this pulls out to a lounge. I'm not going to do it for purposes of video, but that pulls out into a lounge. So that's a nice, uh, nice feature there. All right, let's go down in the cabin here through the companionway. You got to step down a little well there and then one step and that's it. And you're down, down in here. I'm six foot. You got about six foot of head clearance here. My head's just barely hidden here. And then you got a little bit less as you go up in here, but this is the uh, this is the V-berth 
uh, that converts to a uh, kind of a table dinette deal so you can uh, pull that middle section out and set up your table and use it as a dinette. Uh, you got a full galley with uh, with the exception of a stove or I'm sorry with the exception of an oven you do have a two burner stove and that's uh, both electric and alcohol. Uh, you got a microwave, that sink, that pressurized water, fridge freezer. I got pictures uh, of that. Here's your AC panel. AC's running. Got it cooled off to 79. It was 87 when I came in here. And uh, that's working as you can see. AC's running cool. Got cool air coming out of cool air coming out of right out of there. It's nice. Nice and cool. It's a hot day in uh, September here, end of September here in Florida. So, uh, and you got a wet hat area here. You've got, uh, of course, a marine toilet. Got a uh, sink with running water. And uh, there is a uh, shower connection that hooks up to the sink that uh, makes this a, uh, a wet head with a shower. There's the drain down there. And there's your waste control system there. Uh, you got a holding tank. I uh, have put the holding tank gallons on the listing along with all the other specs. And there she is. 1992 Sea Ray 300 Weekender. In good condition according to the seller. It's uh, firm on price because of that. Uh, he says he can't think of anything that you really need to do to uh, upgrade her or get her going. Everything's uh, everything's ship shape according to the seller. So uh, price right, come on in, make your offers, and uh, get out on that. Get out on this water over here. Just beautiful.